Ever since the new WRS came out, there's been one major complaint that I have seen from everybody, and that is the plastic cladding on the car. There is just way too much of it. So we are doing what a lot of you guys have been wanting us to do for a while, and we are putting some color matched flares on the 2023 WRX. Let's get the 23 WRX in the garage. Let's take a peek at what we got from Aeroflow Dynamics, but before we do that, I gotta get the STI out. What is this? Why is this in my way? I need you to move, sir. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, she wants to. There we go. Come on, baby girl. I know you pissed off. So we got this beautiful box of Aeroflow Dynamics that we'll go over in a minute. So what this replaces is this front bumper piece here which comes down, this big arch here going up and across, this back flare piece here, and then this large flare piece here is everything that it's going to replace. You guys have seen this car with the plastic cladding enough, I don't feel like I need to like do any cinematic stuff or show you guys, so here's some old cinematic stuff just to like give you a little idea what it looks like. And after we get these on, we'll take it back out and go get some more. So, let's open up this box and see what we got. These look like the smaller door pieces. I don't want to undo any of these quite yet. This is the other bumper piece there. This is the bumper piece that I had already opened, and I'll show you guys all this stuff once we start getting things off and on the car. Uh, we got two big arches here. I'm guessing these are for the rear, and then two of the door pieces here. This looks easy enough. I feel like a lot of these panels just pull right off, but I guess we'll find out. One thing we are gonna have to do is remove this front bumper. We might not actually have to remove the front bumper, but I'm gonna remove it uh, to be able to pull this piece off here. There are some panel clips in there that hold the flare to the bumper itself, but I say we just start at the front of the car and work our way back. Frank, I got a cat in here. Look at cat. Just like so. I think I gotta take the lip off kinda. Or at least just undo the lip around this portion. Well, I'll show you guys this on the other side, but I ended up taking the front lip off and the whole trim panel piece kind of just fell off. So, you know what? That's a win in my eyes, which means we can go ahead and slap in our new paint matched flare, which these should, I believe, just pop like, pop right in. Yeah. They literally pop right in. And that's pretty like pristine fitment, if we're being honest. So let's go ahead and reassemble this side. I'll show you guys the other side. It's really not too bad. Just take off the front lip and this bezel and you shouldn't have any problem getting these in or out. That guy through there and get this guy back in his home. Now it's all going in into their homes because there's also some clips and whatnot that we got to put in here. Boom! That holds the flare and some of these other pieces in there. Dude, it's just so weird. You know what I mean? It's like you make a major change to your car. Like this, I consider this a major change. All the holes line up perfect also. Fog light bezel will come out first, which I may need to, nope. I thought I might have to flip back over to be able to get this out, but it doesn't look to be the case. There we go. Fog light bezels out, kind of pop off like that. Look at that, look how easy that is. Line it all up. Fog light bezel back in. Look at that. Hey, match flares! Woo! On the front, at least. Since we got a new flare piece, I gotta drill some holes for some of these other pieces to sit in. Dude, I've only done the bumper so far and I am in love with it. Dude, it looks so good. The paint match is spot on. Fitment is pretty much OEM. Like it fits up, no gaps, no seams, nothing. Like kudos Aeroflow, you have made a OEM style option. Dude, it's insane. These flares are also 
10 mil wider than the stock ones, which we do have a little bit of poke on our wheels. So I feel like with this flare, it should fix a lot of that. But dude, I am so, so about that. It looks so good. I don't know how to get the rest of these off, but we're gonna find out. So next up is this one, which I kind of pulling on it. Okay, I see a pop clip right here, but I don't know if that's actually for the flare. I like, I feel like I can just like yeet this off. I also feel like I should probably watch a video before I start eating on things and just pulling things off. What about the rear? Are there like pop clips? Okay, there's like a pop clip right there that holds a flare in, pop clip right there. I feel like most of these just yeet off, like that. Does this just like pull right off? I don't know if I should be doing this right now. Don't, okay, we're good. Does this just like, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we've got, there's a clip right here, but it looks like this one just pulls off. All right, let me try to get this one off real quick. This one seems easy. This is what I found out about the rears. They literally, you just pull them off. There's two clips up in here for this uh, rear bumper and then it just pulls off, which is really weird. They put the screw to take the rear bumper off behind the flare. So I'm assuming we're just gonna transfer over the clips from the stock one over to the new flares. There's a bit of 3M tape, so we can put some 3M tape on the new one. And they literally just clip right on. That's so easy. Opening up one of the aftermarket flares and taking a look at the stock one, it looks like we're just gonna pull all of our stock clips out, transfer them over to our new flare here. And then this guy will just snap right into place. And instead of having the reflector on the rear flare like you would OEM, these have like a nice little like painted vent, which is kind of nice. So no more red reflector. No more reflector. It's a nice little painted like actual vent. It's kind of nice. We have to open the door to get it started. Dude, it literally just like, it, dude, everything just fits like very well. Like I'm actually really impressed because normally with like these aftermarket body panels like this, they never line up well. And then we got our two pop clips and the fender that go back in. Now we can do the door piece here. So on the rear door pieces, Aeroflow does provide adhesion promoter for it because you do have a piece of 3M tape right there that's gonna sit at the top of the door. If you look back here, it's the same thing as OEM. There may be a little bit of residue left over 3M tape right here. Go ahead, clean it off, clean that spot with alcohol, put a little bit of adhesion promoter in that area. Go ahead, let it sit for a second and then put the flare piece on. So. Let's do that, but the dude, look at this. Look, look how good that looks. And it keeps the theme of the gloss black like everything else. All right, so grab our adhesion promoter, rub it right there in the area. Packy, I'm actually, I feel like I should pop the door open for this. Just a hair here, start to line up the clips. Keep pressure on this for a minute so that way the 3M tape can adhere. Man, I feel like we're pretty minty right there. Now we just need color match side skirts, maybe. So freaking about it. All right, now we just gotta figure out the front and then do the entire other side. But that's not bad, it's not bad. Easy installs, man, easy installs. For the front flare here, I did tug on it a little bit and it is held on with 3M tape and clips. So I feel like we just gotta commit to it. Okay, that came off easy. It came off real easy. Now we just have to get all this 3M tape residue off, which is gonna suck, and I have a feeling the new ones will also have some 3M tape, and we're probably gonna be swapping over clips. Dude, I am super impressed with like the fit and like quality of everything. You just remove the stock clips and then you put them in this. And if you ever wanted to go back to your old flares like I have out there, I'll just keep those in the box that they came in. All you gotta do is pop these off, swap the clips back over and you can put your stock ones back on. Plus the 10 millimeter wider actually fits with our wheels a little bit better to give that more flush look that I like. The vents are nice, they are all still functional. Plus you have the addition of another functional vent back here, which is kind of cool also. But dude, I like it. The paint match is like spot on too, which is impressive because it's hard to match paint without having a car around. So the worst part of this so far that I've found is just removing all the old 3M tape that are up on the front flares here. Just to give you guys a little bit of a, like a view, like there's with paint matched and then here's without. It's a little bit blown out over here, I know. But like these, honestly, like I've grown to not hate these that much, but the paint match does look so much freaking better, dude. You guys were right, all right, I'll say it. The paint match does look better. It reminds me of like my old O2 WRX that had the black side skirts and everything else is ruled rally blue. It's kind of cool. We 
got all the color match flares on. I decided to do the front on the opposite side uh, just to get all the 3M off. Dude, that's the worst part is getting the 3M tape off followed by the front bumper. The rest of it's all easy. That's the best part of it. It just uses the stock clip. So if you want to go back to the stock flares again, just take the clips out. You can swap them over. But I haven't looked at it yet. I'm going to I'm gonna see if Matt will come down. Let me call Matt. You guys haven't seen Matt in a hot minute. So Matt can tell you where Matt's been if he comes down. Matthias. When the world needed him the most, where was he? Major Brand. I don't know. Where was he? <laughs> come, come give me your opinion on these color matched flares. Okay. And come say hello to the people of YouTube. Okay. Okay. That looks good. I like it. It's weird. Like, whenever you do any major changes to this car, it takes a second for it to register for everything to start looking okay. Like when we first did the wheels, the wheels did not look okay with the black arches. Now this is weird. It looks good. It just takes some adjusting. I know a lot of you guys think the color matched is the way. I've grown custom to the cladding, but the color match, it's grown on me also. I've seen some cars that look really good with color match and some cars that look mediocre at best. I think this came out awesome. The 10 millimeter wider fills out the tires a little bit more. And it's like actually flu Dude, I like it. I dig it. When the world needed him the most, he's returned. Matt, will you tell people where you've been so I can stop telling everyone? Where I've been? Yeah, people keep asking me where you went. They, everyone thought you died because you haven't been in the videos in a long time. Oh, really? I got a job. Matt's just been busy. <laughs> it takes up a lot of my life. I honestly didn't mind it with... The cladding? Yeah. See, that's my thing is you get used to it with the cladding. Here's the weird thing with this car that I've noticed. Every time you do a major change to it, it takes a little while to get used to it. Because the wheels, when you first put the wheels on, we were like, uh. It looked awful. Yeah, and then. And then we got used to it and it looked good. Yeah. And now we have another major change. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks good. I think it just takes a second. For some reason, it's just this car. It's not, it's not as big of a, holy crap, now it's done. Yay. It as still looks, it, it still looks incomplete. We have a, uh, a paint matched carbon hood coming with carbon vents exposed. I think that'll help it a little bit more. I think kind of what I was expecting too is I didn't think the front piece was one piece. The bumper guy down there? Yeah. You thought that was and two so pieces? Thought, I thought this was part of the bumper and I thought it was just like my car where just right here is. Oh like, no, dude, it's all one piece. So with it being like that, it doesn't keep the continuation of. No, from the two. side skirt. So yeah, now so it's we, almost like the side skirt's out of place now. So now we need to paint the side skirt is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> now the front stands out weird because it's the only piece on the car that's flat black. Well, the side skirts, the rear bumper. The side skirts and the rear bumper. I really want to put a VA rear bumper back here. It wouldn't fit, but we could graph it, cut two bumpers in half. We can make it work. You did it with two bumpers. We could do it with two bumpers. Yeah. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe I'll buy a VA rear bumper and we'll graph them together and make a VBVA rear end. Like that's where it's, it's almost an all or nothing type thing. So what I'm saying- In my eyes, now I, I liked how the car looked before I had no, no gripes with it. And now by adding those, the side skirt bugs me. Well, we can paint that. When it didn't bug me before. Well, we can paint that. And it would look just like the VA. Like yeah. if you look at the VA, and you look at the VB, all we gotta do is paint the side skirt. Like that one's got painted side skirt, paint the side skirt and they're gonna look damn near identical at that point. Look, this one also, it's the same. You've got the textured golf ball stuff on the front bumper on my VA. You've got it on the VB also. The only difference is the side skirt and then how much black plastic there is on the rear bumper. That's the only difference at this point. So. Fuck it, I'll just go get a quote to see how much it would cost to paint the side skirts. Flares, I do like it. They are 10 mil wider than the stock flares. Are they? Yeah, they're a little bit wider. They're 10 mil wider. I think that's combined total between both sides. But if you look at it, it the wheels actually sit flush with the flare now versus being sunk in. So I, so I do like the fact that they're a little bit wider. I thought they took OEM flares. No, th those are not OEM flares. They fit like OEM flares. They fit really well. Yeah, I always thought they took OEM ones and sanded them and then painted them. I thought the same thing, but no, they're actual molded. They actually say like Aeroflow Dynamics on the backside of them. I'd say I'm pretty happy with how the WRX looks. 
Now there's one thing I wanted to point out because some people were asking me on Instagram if I have any gaps in any weird spots. I personally don't. Uh, I'll show you real quick. Some people were saying they have like small gaps or tabs that just don't line up or something like that. So let me show you mine just real quick, the gaps and everything. So starting up here on the front, no weird gaps. Everything lines up like nice and smooth. I probably could have like pushed that down a little bit more and held more pressure on there to fix that, but it's not really a gap. Everything's like nice and flush coming up and down there. Same with the rears. The rears sit perfectly flush along the body. There's no tabs or gaps or anything like that on either side. Everything just fits up honestly just like oem would so like extremely happy with the fitment on these they honestly were more than i expected so super happy with all that no weird gaps but that's all i've got for you guys on this one i think i'm taking the wx drag racing tomorrow i'm going to meet up with josh remy and a couple other people at a renegade renegade track drag strip whatever you want to call it so i'm going out there tomorrow I may or may not race the WRX. If anything, I might just hang out. I don't quite know yet. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys on this one. I'll link those flares down below for you guys as well. So if you like the video, you know what to do. Actually, if you're not a huge fan of the VBWRX, and after seeing it with the paint matched flares, has that changed your opinion on the car? Do you like it with the paint match or do you not? Let me know. But if you guys like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button, turn it black, blue, green, yellow, purple, silver, cyan, whatever color it turns for you. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you want to be, put it in one of these corners. No idea which one quite yet. But with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. So peace out, homies. Woo!